Hello everyone and welcome to a new session of 13 Sentinels. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Yaki Soba Pan. Layla M. Hamburger. And JK Lantern. I have a sword, you're a meshy. You're running on 2025 chocolate. I was gonna I, say I, I was gonna say 2025 <laughs> chocolate would have been the ultimate choice there. That or crepes. <laughs> Or soft serve. <laughs> or hot dog. Don't forget the mustard! This is a rain coat. <laughs> I mean, we did have meat bun. We we did actually run out of mustard at work uh, yesterday oh, no. just because we... Mustard's not something we normally use, so I didn't refill it. And then we got hit by two Little League teams at the same time. Mm. And with Little League teams comes a lot of kids who want mustard on a hot dog. Yep. Yep. I was like, ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> it's fine. You you served the Russian mob the day before. That is true. Unless you think it was. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty sure it was. Anyway, thirteen sentinels, yeah. everyone. And since this is a new session, me going over the last session's footage, I've got theories. <laughs> Although the first theory is completely inconclusive at this point because I don't have enough data points, but I'm still going to go over most of it. So let's talk about the pilots that were in the Battle of 2064 here. Mm -hmm. And how I came to where I came... Remember, I kind of said my soft guess at the time was Takatoshi for the one, and you confirmed it was right because the game's not going to actually go into it yes well this is some of this is how i got there to begin with and i was already thinking it but this is more about 16 we still don't know who's in that one i've got for, names for, for every other one i just don't have names for 16 for 2064 to clarify yes damn time jumps damn time jumps is one way to put it yes I need to pull up that list just because. Okay. So, no, that's not even the right list. What am I pulling up? Oh my god, we pulled up the, the secret herbs and spices. I pulled up the joke list of pilots I came up with at one point in time. <laughs> here, here we have the bad guy, that, uh, fucking, um, got pretty care guy, Layla wants to push off a cliff. Yes! Because I'm pretty Fuck sure him. I'm pretty sure uh, Shiro Amade is not in Sentinel number 45, but you know, he could be. It could have happened. But anyway, so far as we so far what we've seen, all pilots either seem to have been given their Sentinel via birthright. I mean, kind of literally birthright. But uh, it seems like it. At least with the last loop, it seems like they either piloted it in a previous loop, or somehow they took over a Sentinel of someone they were close to. We haven't seen a transfer actually take place yet, but it really does seem if there's a transfer, it so far has been people that are at least really close to each other. For example, you got uh, Hijiyama from Loop 2 transferred... You know, he had number 19 before it was transferred to uh, Keitaro in Loop 3. Keitaro in Loop 2 had 17 before it was transferred to Natsuno in Loop 3. Okino from... I'm. It could be Loop 2, but it could also be Loop 1. Could be Loop 3. I don't know because of something that happened in the last arc. But, uh... Okino trans Okino had twelve before it was transferred to Takatoshi Loop Three. Second Gahara of Loop Three transferred number fifteen to Iori somehow. But uh so we got pilots introduced the Sentinels after the Battle of 2064. They got Sentinels outside of the range of that group. The uh, piloted Sentinel range in that group, as far as I could tell, was twelve to nineteen. So that means numbers 10, 11, 20, 21, 22, and 23 were not piloted in 2064. And in 
20 through 23's case, they weren't even around yet. So that means we had Shu, we had Yuki, we had Rinya, Megami, Ninji, and, oddly enough, because he gave up a Sentinel, uh, Sekigahara, all gained completely fresh new Sentinels, quote-unquote, 10 and 11 not being fresh and new, but they weren't piloted by anyone before. After the Battle of 2064, but before the final battle that we're in with all this stuff. The final waves of battles, however you want to look at it. So, we come to number 16, and the 2064 battle was never named at all. But neither were Okino, Kitaro, Tamao, or Takatoshi. None of those characters or their later loot copies are still in control of the Sentinels they piloted by the time by the time this big last push happens. Uh, Okino 3, Kitaro 2, Sekihara 3, and Takatoshi 2 all transferred their ownership to Mao because well, Tamao is effectively extinct at this point. We've seen we've seen her die twice now, basically, on screen. Well, one was kinda sorta on screen. The other was definitely on screen. One um, when her AI inside her android was effectively destroyed by 426 when he took over control from the Tomy android. What and, a dick. And then we've seen Tamao 3 just kind of vaporize in Sector 5 when she died from whatever the hell Rinya did to her combined with the fact she was in the middle of a bombing. So we know that Tomy right now is the current pilot of number 16. We know this. Correct. We also know that Tomy has had... At least at one point in time, an AI present in the system. The AI was created after Tomy number two was shot and killed by uh, Juro Prime slash four two six. Tetsuya in the second loop worked to put the Taomi Tomy AI into an android. The Taomi, yes. Taomi, yes. Taomi. We know this same android was eventually taken over by 426 in the same lab it was created, or at least very close by. And we I know that look. the Tamau android ex ceased to exist when Juro Prime took the Tamau android over later. So this would seem to imply to me that the Tomy AI also kinda ceased to exist when Juro Prime took over the Tomy android. I, this is very much conjecture because we didn't see that instance. We didn't see if the AI was still in the Android at the time. But I can't think of. I mean, there's to me, there's no good reason it would be gone yet. But you know. So right now we don't seem to have a previous Tomy anywhere, which means that right now only Tomy three. Tomy in the third loop could pilot number 16. However, if she had been in the Sentinel in 2064, she would be very much suffering the effects of DD-426. She is not. And this is how I can rule out everybody else previously mentioned. Shu, Yuki, Rinya, Megami, Ninji, and... Well, not Sekigahara because he was actually in that battle, but the other five... They are not. They were not suffering the effects of DD four two six, so therefore they cannot be in Sentinel sixteen either. But if we want to look at people that could be donors, just due to proximity, not due to any other form of logic, let's see. We have Tetsuya from the second loop, Chihiro Prime, and Iori. But those are all invalid. Because, once again, I said all these people that seem to transfer Sentinels, when they get transferred, we're talking about people that are close to each other. So, Tetsuya, Megami, Chihiro Prime, and Iori would seem to be the four most likely candidates in that, but none of those are invalid. All of those are invalid. Tetsuya, 
from the second loop and Chihiro Prime weren't pilots at all in the Battle of 2064. In fact, they were like commanders instead of pilots. Much like, it looked like those three were actually just commanding the fight from that rooftop. So, I mean, and again, the Iori and Megami, neither of those suffered the effects of DD-426, so they couldn't have been in 16. So, right now, the only thing I've got is that a previous Tomy had to have been number 16's pilot, but all the available evidence I've got says there's no previous Tomy to pilot the Sentinel right now. So, I've narrowed it down to, it's got to have been a previous Tomy, but what Tomy exists? We don't have one. It was the hash flinging slasher the whole time. The hash singing, the crash ringing, the bash clinging. Yes, SpongeBob, the hash slinging slasher. <sighs> Someone outside so, has opinions. So, there's that's a that's something I'm putting a pin in for now because I'm pretty sure we will find something at some point that will tell me where we had like a backup Tomy AI or something like that, and it will throw all that out the window. But there, that's how I got to where I am with number 16's pilot. Now. The other thing I want to talk about is the sheer mountain of pills that people are taking in this game. So Remember, winners don't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. Unless they want to keep their damn memories, apparently. So we know five different pills that were listed in the medical records. A was taking the C0204. Ryoko was taking, also taking C0204, but along with that was C22. Shu took one dose of something called A8076. Juro took four doses of A8075, and then a steady supply of B01 after that. Things we know about these pills. We know B01 was synthesized by Tamau. We know C0204 was synthesized by 426. Now, we know that Ryoko's pills had two purposes listed. One was to delay nanomachine separation in the brain, and two, to apply a memory link enhancement. We can reasonably guess then that we know that C0204 is the one that serves the purpose of delaying the nanomachine separation, so the C-22 serves the purpose of supplying a memory link enhancement of some type. We don't know exactly what that memory link enhancement entails yet, but we know that memory link enhancement is what that does. At least if we just follow the information the game has given us, and we know about how well the game is good at misdirecting people. Shu's dose of A8076 came with a note of 20% transplant rate. And best guess, because that can mean a few things, since he's been having the dreams about Tetsuya, it's not a huge stretch for me to assume that the 8076 pill is transplanting a few of Tetsuya's memories into Shu. As for Juro's pills... Well, his nanomachines had already completely decoupled, so they did not give him the C0204. There would be no purpose to it. It would also not be completely unreasonable to assume that since A8075 is so close in uh, designation to A8076, it seemed likely to implant some of the mem some memories into uh, into Juro, but it seems like that got interrupted, and then we got the medicine synthesized by Tamal Karabe to likely do the same thing. 
but instead of implanting other people's memories, and in this case, the most likely candidate is Jiro Izumi's memories into Jiro Karabe, but it seems like the B01s were done to create the artificial personality we know as Jiro Karabe. Kinda like Okino did with himself when he discovered DT-426 and tested it on himself and screwed himself over big time. Hmm. Okino is a responsible son. <laughs> I couldn't say that with yeah. a straight face. So, also because if if I am correct here, and I don't see why I... I mean, I see how I could be incorrect, but I also see that with the information I'm given, this is the most logical conclusion I can come up with. If this is the case, that's why Juro is Juro Karabe, because his personality was synthesized by Tamal Karabe, kind of, sort of, making him her uh, son, grandson, family member, offspring of a sort. Kinda. So there we go. That that's what uh, me going through footage has uncovered in my mind. How right or wrong I am about any of this, eh, we'll find out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> 